Hello everyone, welcome back to another Facebook Live with Kaiming and Daryl as usual. Yes. You've probably seen us a thousand times this uh, holiday. Uh, please don't be bored of us. Anyway, if you want to see us again, uh, drop, a drop a comment down below. We might come back, might not, because actually this is our last day. So, okay, goodbye everyone. Bye. We can say anything during this live and we won't get fired because this is our last day. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we fight free again. Uh, so, actually today, all of the, no, I'm kidding. Uh, so, yes, so let's wait for everyone to come in. Uh, you might think, uh, those, those people who tuned in to previous, uh, the last week, Life? Last week's life, yeah. Last week's life. You might be thinking, where is Mabel? I want to see Mabel. So, uh... Oh. So why is Mabel not here? Mabel, why are you not here? Where's Mabel? Mabel, why are you not inside? Oh. Why? Uh, why? why is Mabel uh, not inside? Someone bought uh, two A's and then... Uh, then? Then... What was the joke with uh, Natalie at the time? <laughs> someone bought a roll-off then. And then... Uh, oh, yeah, inside, inside. I forgot. Never mind. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, Mabel is actually behind the screen. Yeah, yeah. she's shy, so she never wave. Yeah, but... Uh, but if you all wish to see Mabel come back, right, just type in the comment section below. Yeah, if you want her to host live again, right, please also type in the comment section below. Or if you want to see her and another intern, a new one, just, yes. yeah, just comment below. Yes. I mean, I think you are uh, seeing of our faces already. Right? Hello. Two of us. I also seeing of your face Also, already. yeah, yeah. seeing of you already. Correct. Last week, who can, who can spoil my Spider-Man <laughs> movie? Uh, I forgot. Actually, he watched already. Then yeah, the, I watched the day after. And then when the it, thing happened, yeah, he, like he like a bit. Yeah, like no mood. I knew it already. So yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, it's time okay. for payback. So as usual, right? Uh, if you have any questions about the bikes or about us, right, drop them hmm. below, and we'll answer uh, ASAP, lah. So uh, if you don't want to like wait like two seconds on the DMs, you can come two here seconds. and wait two minutes, uh. Uh, there's a bit of lag, yeah, that's why for that's two minutes. If it's but... two seconds, right, probably the boss reply. Two minutes, maybe I reply. Two hours, maybe the other interns. If it's two days, ah, uh, or longer, it's probably coming. Uh. Or never. Or never, uh. yeah. Uh, anyway. If coming, don't reply. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm kidding, that was all a joke. <laughs> 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 when... <laughs> this is the last day, I'm gonna spit a bit. Okay. <laughs> it's not a yeah, joke, he correct. doesn't reply. <laughs> okay, okay like, he does a lot of, uh, any of <laughs> Huh? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so I can't tell how many people are here, so if there's five people, thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, we are going to start off with uh, the normal stuff. Mm, so, so about, start... about store, uh, about store. Store updates, uh. yeah. So, uh, let's bring up the store update slide. So, uh, I think for those people who tuned in to last week's, uh, I was going to say last week's vlog. Last week's vlog. <laughs> uh, last week's um, Facebook Live, right? Y'all will know that uh, we are restarting, uh, I mean, we have... Uh, we open uh, reopen, we open yeah. the store for store visits. Bike. Uh yeah. <laughs> store visits <laughs> and uh test rides. Correct. Correct. So uh you can actually walk in from third gen third uh, gen onwards of... next year, yes. So we are very uh it's gonna be the end of the year. So uh, yeah. It's gonna so be the, the end reason soon. why it's starting on third gen is because what's today's date? 30th, right? Yeah. Today 30th. Uh, yeah. What you what you check? The time. <laughs> okay, so today is 30th, tomorrow is 31st. 31st will actually be close, uh, early, we'll close earlier, like, we'll close at 5pm. Okay. So if you want to pay a visit to the store, you can, um, but come around 4pm latest. Yeah. And just take note that we're actually close from 12 to 1pm for our lunch break. Yeah, so that's tomorrow, Friday. Saturday is what? New Year. New Year's. Yes. New Year's, of course, we're not open. Uh, Sunday, we also don't open on Sundays as well. So that's second. That's why on Monday, the third, Gen will be open and will be open to walk-ins. Yes. So um, there we have some regulations for walk-ins. So first of all, maximum is two packs. So two packs means me and coming two. Yeah. Um, so coming you, or like you bring like a child, your yeah, child, child, or your yes. Child is considered uh, one pack also. Yeah. So it's one adult one one child is still two packs, and then what else? Um, thirty minutes max per visit. Yeah. So this is to ensure that everyone gets a chance, you know, to actually visit the store or test ride the bikes. And also... So we recommend people to come during the weekdays, lah. Because we know that on Saturdays, it will be very busy. Correct. Yes, yeah. yeah and also make sure you all uh, get vaccinated. Because we actually check the status of your vaccination, uh, vaccination status, yeah, basically. And I hope that some of you have already uh, Take made an appointment shot. for your booster shot. Uh, oh, new bike. Alright, okay, so basically, right, 
in today's live, we'll be actually unboxing uh, a new model that actually just arrived today. Yes. So, so yeah, it'll be a... of y'all who have been keeping track right, with our our Telegram. Our, oh, yeah, our Telegram, our social media, all yeah. our updates on our bikes, right? Y'all will know that actually this week there's a bike coming and a bike that bike that a bike that has never been uh, officially on live before Correct. or anywhere actually. So later will be your first time seeing it and also our first time because um we are gonna unbox it like yes that's right so um y'all can actually guess the color or actually guess the model if y'all are not sure yeah y'all can so drop in the comments side. below yeah drop the comments uh, below go price uh. hmm? the price is we'll show you our the price uh, we uh, give you a shout out uh. we yeah. follow you on uh, uh we we intern so we cannot give out anything uh but you want to give us can yeah hey you want to give us hey. can we still got an hour time what's the time now seven uh, i don't know jj what's the time now Three, three parts. three parts okay we still have until six o'clock you got anything you want to give us just come to tai Seng and uh yeah give us a breath out hq you can say uh i want to buy this bike for for climbing like uh, no, yeah, for yeah. daryl for daryl uh, both are both double double yeah. double yeah buy two bikes yeah. uh, i don't mind i don't mind the ace yeah uh, i don't mind uh, gravel also can yeah actually i don't mind gravel actually i want gravel i don't okay. mind very master uh anyway um, so Okay, that's uh. That's I don't know how, how many viewers are there. Anyway. Okay, nice. Okay, okay welcome everyone. Uh, to Facebook Live. Uh, let's start with our bikes. Shall we? Okay. I mean, so the, now that I have the carry all here. Oh, okay. Let's just talk about the carry all then. So uh, yes, as you can see, the bike is in front of Daryl and he's been uh playing with it, playing with it for a while now. It, yes, so this is the carry all, and like all of y'all should know, right? It's uh the world's only foldable tricycle. Yes. yes. So for those of y'all who are thinking of getting a bike for your loved ones that cannot really cycle well, this is an a uh, very very good option, uh, Especially now that I mean now Christmas is over, but you can always get one to like encourage them to cycle in the new year. Because everyone's new year resolution is always to be more fit or to exercise or whatever. So right, uh, this can actually help them, lah. Uh, and I mean, if you're gonna spend uh the money, right, then you're probably gonna continue exercising. I mean, that's that's what I, I predict, lah. Uh, so anyway, so this is a very good gift. And if you personally don't really know how to cycle well, it's a quite a good uh start, lah. Like a good tricycle to start off with, and it's affordable, which is oh my god, that's that's amazing, right? Uh, so you can use it, go around. So some of you think that the carry all is quite slow, right? Actually, it's not, lah. And it's very easy to use. So, so this is our last day and, and no one's gonna stop there from doing this. No one. Actually, wow, you know. Okay, so we have a comment from Cristiano. Uh... Ryan Cristiano. So Ryan, the Ace Ryan. is what model? Okay, so stay tuned. We'll actually be going through the Ace in about... 15 minutes? 10, 15 minutes? Yeah, so... But it's one of the... Uh, the actually, it's one of the latest... Um, models that we've come up with it's actually a customized model that we came up with um last week yes. we just released it last week and during last week's buying time. a lot yeah and a uh, few models have been uh, snatched up already so uh we actually go through later so stay tuned okay okay so back to carry all so uh let's bring up the carry all slide it comes on uh, it comes in two colors are uh, very nice colors so uh slate gray and khaki brown so the one in front of daryl that you've seen previously is actually the khaki brown Yes. And the slate grey actually, uh, how does it look like? Mm. 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 Grey? You take a picture of this, you put black and white filter, then yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's grey lor. Yeah. And then uh, it's 1499 and comes after 5 working days. Yeah, so if yeah. they order today, how, when can they collect? Uh, next week. Next week this time lah. Meet and, and next week uh, yeah. Yeah. So you give it like a week, a week of waiting time and you'll get it. So it's pretty fast lah. You don't have to wait for like a month or two. Yeah. So uh So what's this carry all good for actually? So carry all I've seen people use it for like uh to and fro from places like short distances. Uh because it doesn't have it's a one speed uh tricycle. Yep. So speed. you might find some trouble like going uh through a lot of slopes uh, up and down a lot of slopes. Yes. So the the most like the easiest way the way to ride it comfortably is like probably on PCN straight path. All those 
So yeah. it's for your simple daily commutes. Let's say you want to go buy... Uh, go buy what? Where got those? Go buy groceries. Uh, groceries. Stuff, uh, yeah. I won't say ingredients. The, same as I mean, yeah, can, you want to buy groceries, you want uh, just cycle nearby your park connector, uh, around your block. Uh, if you just want to exercise, I think this is a very good bike. So it's not, it's not just for like, there's no age limit to this. Like kids can use, um, the elderly can use, even uh, our age also can use, working adults or Yeah, so the height suitability. Yeah. Okay, suited for people who are between a height of 140 cm to 180 cm. Yeah, so it's, it's quite versatile. But it has a maximum uh, weight capacity of 80 kilos. Yes, inclusive of both the rider and whatever they're carrying. Okay, yeah, so for those who, of y'all that want to see Terra for the bike, right, y'all can drop a comment down below. And uh, of course, we'll show you because, I mean, we are, we are the best hosts. Yeah, best hosts. Yeah. So, uh. S -S <laughs> no, no, no comment. Three. So, any more comments Two. before we move on to the next bike? One, okay, do I have no comment. Next okay. bike. So, uh, if, okay, so like we said uh, at the start of the live, right, we are doing an unboxing later on at the end of the live. And then uh, we're unboxing this bike that a lot of people have been waiting and we just got it like today, which is, yeah, which today. is insane. Like, literally yeah. this afternoon. Yeah, we Can just got we just yeah, took it, yeah. So uh later on, uh so if y'all know which model it is, right, please drop a comment down below. Mm -hmm. And then if you get it correct, we'll we'll shout you out and stuff. And uh We'll follow you personally. Yes. Yes. Kami will follow you and using his main account. Sure, why mm -hmm. not? Yes. yes. So halfway through, we'll review the answer and then we'll let people guess the color of the of the bike that, that we model. Yeah. model yes. okay, okay, so next we'll move on to our another customized model, which is the Birdie New. Whoa! Birdie New Classic. Okay, uh. Right, give us a moment. Give Kami a moment okay, yes. to prepare the bikes. Okay, so our Birdie New Classic actually comes in two colors. We have the Pearl Mouse Grey and it's also the. Oh, sorry, Birdie New Classic Plus. Not New Classic only, Birdie New Classic Plus. Okay, so it comes in two colors, the Pearl Mouse Grey and also the Red Black. I think most of you have seen it, uh, especially if you follow us on our social media accounts. So this one, the first one here is actually the Pearl Mouse Grey. So I'll be unfolding it. So I think most of you all know that the folding and unfolding process of the Birdie bikes are actually the same and they are actually very easy to to do that basically. Okay, so these are actually the specs of the Birdie New Classic. So it has eight speeds like the normal Birdie New Classic, uh, but the Plus has two upgrades. First of all, it has the V6 MTB pedals, uh, which provides better grip for you when you're cycling. And it also has the Billy Bonkers uh, tires and tubes. So what it does is generally this whole Birdie New Classic Plus is um, very good for off-road for uneven terrain, your dusty, sandy roads, and light gravel roads. So it's really fit for all terrain. Uh. That's why we call it an all terrain bike. Correct. And now it's retailing at 2399. So um, what's so special is actually, I will say the main selling point is the Billy Bonkers tires. Mm, and right now the Billy Bonkers tires are actually uh, very scarce uh, in the market. So it's very hard to get this uh, Billy Bonkers tires right now. Yeah, so we only have limited pieces and we are actually that's why we customized into this Buddy New Classic Plus to sell as a uh, one whole package. So do, you all do have to think about which model to buy. If you want to cycle on uh, many types of terrain, you want a bike that's more versatile, yeah, you all can consider the Buddy New Classic Plus. All right. So, as you can see, this is the Pearl Mouth Grey uh, version of the Buddy New Classic Plus. And here we have folded up is the, uh, what I like to say, the McDonald, yes. the Ferrari. And we just had McDonald's for lunch. Yes. Uh, version of the bike which is in red black and the tires are also very nicely in ten the in the ten wall ten version. wall yes and if you open it up got space on right? yeah. Okay. yeah so yes so very nicely uh these two actually it, it kinda fits like it kinda actually, uh, matches each other sock. okay wait oh so like this Oh yeah, because your shirt. Okay. Oh okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, now now it matches better. Oh yeah, and, and my Yes. I'm always black and white. Uh yeah, so yeah, Oh your so hair you is gonna see. be black and white tomorrow. Correct, correct. Yeah, okay, so um insider info. Kami is gonna dye his hair black and white tomorrow uh, tomorrow. So eh, how are you gonna dye it? Yeah, half half. Yeah. 
So yeah. which side black? Which so, side white? Don't know yet. So for those of you all who see me outside in public, uh, recognize me in my hair, don't don't talk to me. Oh, you very sad. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so uh, that's enough of the Bernie Classic Plus. So as usual, it's grab and go. Grab and go means instant oh, yeah, collection. It's grab and yes. go. And so, yeah. Uh, yes. And <laughs> <laughs> wait. So let's me this. This week only left with today and tomorrow, correct? Correct. So you all purchase today online. You all can come down tomorrow to collect. Mm. Or you all can go straight to the store tomorrow and get. Yeah, is right. is that easy? Just draw us an email. Um, just give us your name, contact number. What's it? I want the three things: name, contact number, and email. Correct. Three, yeah. Name, contact email, number, email. email. Yeah. Yes. Then you can make uh, your purchase via a uh, bank transfer, uh, cash, or pay now. So actually, right. Uh, here's an idea for you. Don't say I never give free stuff because I'm giving you a free idea right now. Okay, so right, New Year, right, you know, very hard to book uh, restaurants or book like, I don't know, stay K or whatever stuff, right? But you still want to do something, you know, uh, over overnight. Mm. So one option you can do is oh, have cycle. overnight cycling, uh, yeah. So, uh, I mean, yeah, I used to do it last time. So it brings, mm. it brings the memories, yeah. yeah. I think like, go chalet, then go cycle, oh. right, yeah. So yeah. instead, right, of like, I mean, you can go and rent the those those bikes, uh, but you could also be riding your, your own bike. Correct. So, it's really so grab and go each of these bike costs only two three nine nine and you can just ride it and uh for like five days straight i don't know whatever you want right so yeah, i was actually at uh mbs you know also mbs oh, yeah. on uh christmas itself like the countdown and everything mm. countdown to christmas whatever yeah so i realized there were a lot of people riding and a lot actually ride foldable bikes yeah i think it's, a lot of it's convenient uh, it's very yeah, convenient especially since MRT is such a big thing in Fair Singapore. Yeah. So they can take like maybe to like MBS will be Bayfront or maybe from stadium then they cycle through all the way to MBS then to like the what's that Marina Barrage. Yeah. And, yeah, and yeah. Back. Wow. yeah. It's gonna be tough. Yeah. I think. I think it's gonna be tough. I mean but... I walked there before. Oh so <laughs> he has experience tougher. So don't be like him, don't be stupid. Yeah, don't be like yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> get a instead of walk. Get a bike, yeah. So uh yeah, you can get a group of five people, five friends. Four friends plus you five. Mm. Then uh, you can go and ride. And uh, I think it's quite a nice way to, uh, to enter the new year. Yeah. Now I, now I kind of want to do nice cycle. Anyway. Which bike? Which bike? Hmm? All of them. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So that's about that's all for Brand New Classic Plus. If you want to see uh, it come back, I mean, you want to see it appear on the live again, do drop a comment down below. Yes. Uh, if you want to see... Uh, there are two tricks on the Burning Classic Plus. You can drop a comment down. Hey, don't lie. So. Don't lie to them. I cannot. <laughs> and yeah, that's it. So we're gonna. Okay, you can see how uh, Dara pulls the bike back. Uh, I'm not gonna do it. Cause it's my last day. What do you mean? <laughs> anyway, All right. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so while well, really no, really no questions. Uh. if y'all just want to drop like a, like a. Wow, we love the host or something. You can drop also, or like, uh, wow, what's Daryl's Instagram handle? So it's actually uh, we 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 yeah. So that's uh, <laughs> must must beat myself. Okay, so that's all for classic plus. So uh, yeah, it's really uh, I think the main selling point is really a bit longer tires and mm. the grab and go lah. Uh, a lot of our bikes now right now you have to wait like a couple of days or to a month. Correct. Yeah. So for this, it's really grab and go. So it's really I think it's uh worth it lah. If with just a three hundred extra, yeah. Instant collection. collection. Yeah. Look at the coins. Hey, I want I want the instant collection again. Look at the coins. The coins literally says grab and go. So you pay yeah. now, you get it now. Then you know what's the stupid thing about this is that now right, if you have an instant collection for another non grab and go uh series right, then then uh it cannot be used because <laughs> it has the grab and go coin. It's all called grab and go, right? Instant collection means grab and go. Then what is he talking about? He came out with these things somehow. Okay, anyway, okay uh, so let's move on to the next model. Let's go to the. Let's talk about the Birdie JK11 Road and Birdie ah, JK11 okay. Ace. Let's go through the JK11 series, lah, basically. So, first of all, we have the JK11 Road. So, that was the first of the JK11 series that was introduced, I think, back in. When was it? October? Around that period? Yeah, around October. Yeah, so. Uh, Okay, you all can see the specs on the screen. So, uh, to make things simple, it's actually the fastest um, J uh, birdie model because of its Shimano Altegra derailleur and there's also a 56 Steve uh, wheelset. But, 
we will not be showing the JK11 road because it is really sold out. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, it was sold out, I think, two to three days back. So it was only like a few days after our previous live where, uh, you know, a lot of the orders uh, came flooding in. And yeah, we ran off the JK11 road. So what I have right here in front of me is actually the JK11 Ace. So what does the Ace have? It's actually, um, it was released only just last week. And uh, it has the Dura Ace derailleur, which is actually the top of the line on the Shimano derailleur list. And it's actually one notch above the Shimano Altegra, which was attached onto the um, Shimano, eh, sorry, the JK11 road. So yeah, this is the Ace. Do you have the... Let's have the slide for Ace. Whoa. Whoa. Nice, nice uh, slide. Anyway, so the Ace actually comes with, like Daryl mentioned, the Dura Ace. And uh, along with that, you can see all the different components that we have actually upgraded. Uh. So uh, one, one of the main thing will be the Dream Tech GT4 piston brake, which is very nicely in red because it contrasts from the kind of black color frame that the Birdie JK11, kind of, uh, Birdie JK11 Ace kind of has. Yeah, so that's uh, another plus point. Uh, you can see, for those of you out there that knows uh, this kind of stuff, you can actually see and uh, jot down what you all think is good. Yes. So we actually have a comment from JW Curtis. Hello, JW. Says Happy Hi. New Year to all in Mighty Velo. Hello. Yes, Happy New Year to you too and your, you and your family. Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a, like a threat. <laughs> Happy New Year to you and your family. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey. Happy New Year. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you, G W Fatty. Happy yes. New Year to you and your family. I hope it doesn't sound like a trend. <laughs> I only realize what you say, yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, uh, you're kidding. Uh, yeah, definitely Happy New Year to everyone watching right now. Yeah. We don't know how many people are watching, but uh, we appreciate the support. Thank you for always coming back every week to see our face, even though it's kind of. So even after we leave, uh, please uh, yeah. continue to come back and support uh, our other. Right, we might have or... a sneak. Like cameo, you know, you all will never know. Who right? knows? Maybe yeah. later. Mm. Huh? Oh, wait. Oh, uh, oh, 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 we cameo. Uh. Next year, next year. Oh, yeah. next, okay. next year, next year. Yes. So that's uh, it for the Birdie, Ace. The Birdie JK11 Ace. So if, okay, if I were to buy, right? If I were to order now, when will I get it? Actually, next week. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, because the collection period for this will actually be early gen and it just so happens that early gen is next week. Yeah, so if uh, for those of you who didn't know, uh, today is already 30th of December, tomorrow is the last day of 2021. Yeah, and you have to collect in one year. Yeah. Uh, next year, next year. Oh, damn lame. This is like a anyway, primary school joke that okay, I always can, tell my Okay, so we have a question uh, from Maritz. Mansur. Hi, Hi Marit. Sorry so, if I butchered your name. Can the Hello, JK11 road or is travel on PCNs and light dusty road? Or is it just a road bike? Okay, so the JK11 road and is Okay, both of them are road bikes. Uh, they have actually very slick tyres, so they are more suited for flat terrain. Uh, but if it's for light dusty road, I think it's still okay. It's not really recommended if you are uh, travelling on light dusty road all the time. But uh, if it's just a little bit, then of course it's, it's fine. Uh, yeah, Wait, but so it's really, really so, <laughs> okay, so it's really up to your preference. Mm. Uh, if you are thinking of so, so for a lot of people who buy uh the Birdie JK Eleven Ace and Birdie JK Eleven Road, right? Mm. They plan to always stay on the road. Like uh, it's more of like a road. Uh, it's more like uh they want to go on the road lah. So uh, it's possible to still go on those light dusty terrain. But actually, we do have another option, right. which is the Birdie JK Eleven Gravel, which is which is fit for that purpose. So if you're thinking, if you already have plans to like go on like dusty road, you plans to go on like gravelly path, plan to go on the road, plan to go off road, everything, right? Then I think we have, yeah, we're going to show you another option that might fit your kind of style, cycling style, cycling lifestyle. Wait, uh, but just to add on, this one can go on BCN also. Yes. Oh, yes, so all, can, all of our bikes can, okay. can go on BCN. Yeah. Yeah. BCN, BCN, but small, small, small kick. No, no kick. No, no kick, no kick, yes. Yeah, so okay, so... <laughs> Uh, after saying all that, right? Yes. So now we're going to introduce the uh Body JK11 Gravel, which was previously right. sold out in like uh, I think a month ago when it was first introduced. It sold out like like ASAP. Yeah, within a week. Yeah, within a week. So uh, this was just uh, recently brought back. I I think last week. People who tuned into last week's live, y'all will know that. Yeah, we brought it back last week. Yeah, and uh, it's still available now. So uh, this is uh, I feel like if you're thinking of. Uh, going on like 
kind of rocky paths, gravity mm. paths. Yeah, so this might be a better option for you. Yeah. So uh, let's bring up the birdie gravel slide. Yes, so uh, it might look a bit different from the picture because uh, the wheels, right, are actually, uh, the, uh, the wheels are actually a bit different. So instead of the white text that we have, right, we actually have black labels. So it actually looks more slick because uh, it kind of blends in uh, so you don't see the uh, white color labels. So I mean, it's up to your preference. I personally feel this one uh, kind of conceals well, uh, you know, stealth and Blends stuff. well, uh, blends well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so all right, uh, as usual, the JK11 series comes with the Joseph Kozak carbon uh, wheel set. And for the gravel, right, it comes with the Billy Bonker, Billy Bonkers tires. And uh, it's in 18 inch uh, because uh, so as to uh, fit the Billy Bonker tires. Mm. But uh, it's, it still works. Uh. I mean, it, it's not like uh, matters much. Anyway, so of yeah. course, if you are comparing the previous uh, JK11 Ace to this gravel, the Ace is for you to go fast. Because that one is 20 inch, uh, slick tires, that one has the DR Ace um, derailleur. So everything about that bike is, you know, it's designed for you to go fast. Whereas this JK11 gravel is um, for you to go up slopes, uh, for you to ride off-road, uneven terrain. Uh, basically, you got better tra traction, but it doesn't uh, give you the huge speed boost as compared to the JK11 Ace. Yeah, so it really depends, like what Kamin said, on your cycling style and preference. So if I were you, right, okay, uh, let's imagine that I have enough, uh, I, have the, I have money, okay. I have uh, to buy a JK11, one of the JK11 birdie. Uh. So uh, for me, right, I would personally uh, buy the, get the JK11 gravel because, I mean, I don't know uh, where I'm going to go every time I'm going to go and cycle. Mm. Like maybe different groups will uh, tell me to go different places. So I think uh, a more like a well-rounded, uh, well-rounded. Yeah. A more versatile, versatile, sorry. versatile uh, bike would be definitely the bur uh, bur burger. <laughs> burger. <laughs> 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 JK. It would definitely be the birdie JK even gravel. Okay. So uh yes, yeah, so I mean you can if your group friend group, right, or your like cycling group, cycling buddies are already uh, the kind that will drag you out to go on the road, right? Then Buddy JK eleven A's will definitely be the better option. That's right. Because I mean you're gonna do that more often. But uh for people who, you know, have a lot of different uh Cycling buddies that like to go different paths, right? Uh, the burger, burger, burger <laughs> again, burger part two. The birdie JK11 gravel. Okay, next time y'all come store, don't ask for the birdie burger. If not, I'll come back to the store. Okay, anyway. <laughs> okay, anyways. Yeah. So um. So yeah, the birdie JK11 gravel will definitely be better lah because I mean, mm. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Simply, it's Sorry. just more versatile. Versatile, yeah. yeah. And uh. Okay, then if you are talking about the colors, colors, they just come with whatever you see is what you get. So the JK11 gravel, what you see here is the graphite black. So it's basically the matte black. Uh. So um, we only come in, it only comes in one color as of now, uh, because these are all customized already and uh, pre-made. So when's the collection period for this? Same. Oh, next week. Yeah, correct. Next year. <laughs> next year. Yeah, next year, next week. Next year. So basically it's early gen. Uh. Yeah. So for the both JK models, uh, collection period will be early Jan or next week if you purchase yours today. Yes, but if there's a slight delay or you know uh, if we're gonna push it, it'll be earlier, which actually is quite earlier. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna push it earlier. <laughs> anyway, okay. yeah. So hi, if it's later, uh, yeah, we'll tell you also. What's the difference in top seats for JK Road Ace Gravel? Or... Okay, so um, if you're comparing, okay, R twenty before all our customized models came out, R twenty was actually the lightest and the fastest body model but after we customize it we actually have the road and ace and okay so we put out put, put road out of the equation for now because road is already sold out but the ace is actually um i'll say faster than the r20 first of all because it has a 54 teeth chain ring uh, which is larger than the 52 teeth on the r20 and also it's using the shimano dira ace developer which is lighter and it's smoother the shifting process so it's uh, faster than the R20. And if you are comparing with the gravel, gravel is, uh, I'll say, is slower than both the R20 and the Ace, but it has better grip and a lot more control when you're going off terrain and off road. Yeah, I hope that answers your question. Yes, whatever you said. Correct. So, uh, yeah. And so, okay, so that's that's about it for the Birdie JK uh, 11 gravel. Another thing you can uh, think about is how much space 
uh, constraint you have at home maybe. So the body JK11 Ace right, actually has 20 inch wheels. Mm. And for this, we we'll actually have 18 inch wheels. So obviously, because the wheels are slightly smaller, when mm. it's kept, right, when it's packed up, uh, folded up, right, it will take slightly, slightly, very slightly smaller space. So, I mean, depending on, I mean, this is just a, just a, just helping you all, you know, know the difference. Actually, there's yeah. not much difference, honestly. Yeah. So because, it's, yeah, there's so much difference. Yeah. I mean, I stay, inch, I stay at four. The 20-inch so, wheels are actually very slick, so it wouldn't take up much space. Yeah, I stay at four, so everything make, everything matters. <laughs> you buying me? Uh, no, you're all buying for me. Yeah. Oh, right, right, right. right. Yeah. Very so, confident, this guy. Uh, uh, I say, uh, I, I, so which model you want? You faster? Carry me, see? carry me. Huh? I'm okay with carry me. Carry uh, me, uh. I want I want the grab you see, don't, don't buy for him because he asking for Oh, the new Classic Plus, uh, Pomo is great only. Oh wait, they say what? Shoot for the sky, shoot for the stars, uh, drop the moon. <laughs> shoot, shoot for, for the, the stars, drop the moon. Shoot, shoot for the moon, drop, and uh, you reach the stars. Okay, I want the ace, yeah. Thank you. What is the manufacturing country of all body models? Right? Okay, so right, uh, it's actually an uh, engineer in Germany and uh, manufacturing in Taiwan, so... Uh, the parts, right, are actually all like, kind of imported. La. Mm. Imported, yes, that's the word. Yeah. yeah, so we import the parts over, and then we have a team who actually specializes in uh, building and assembling all the bikes. Correct. That's why there's uh, waiting time, because uh, the demand is really very high. Yeah. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, thank you, Robinson, for the Robinson for the Thanks, Robinson. question. Yeah. Yes, okay. So hey, now, correct. So if you all got any other questions, right, just feel free to ask. Yeah, see how fast this we, the this is the last yeah. live uh, of the year already. So the last live question, with us. Yeah, need to ask. Maybe not, but yes. Yeah. Maybe next time you all ask the rest, they don't reply. How? You. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just throw stuff. No, but uh, basically, oh, hi. Uh, yes. Okay. Hi, Andy. Hi, Andy. What's the difference between GT and gravel? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Question. So okay. for those of y'all who like uh just you know glance at the two bikes, right? You might notice that. Uh, it might look a bit similar because both of them have uh, the tires with teeth, teeth with ridges. So the GT actually has the blackjack tires. So uh, they might look similar, but they are, and they might be for the same purpose, right? But there's a lot of difference between these two bikes. So one of the big difference, of course, uh, like we mentioned previously, will be the JK11, a uh, uh, JK carbon wheel, the so called carbon wheel. Mm. And of course, a lot of the parts, like the uh, gear set, which is a Shimano Altegra versus yeah, the derailleur versus GT SRAM. SRAM yes, yeah. so uh, it definitely uh has a difference uh, because the so, gear set is uh, slightly up is upgraded, not so slightly, basically the components on the JK11 gravel are actually uh, more superior than the eh, sorry, hey. Hey. I also, also <laughs> the, same. Uh, okay. the JK11 uh, gravel has higher end components as compared to the Birdie GT here. But the Birdie GT, uh, the grab is what the grab. The Birdie GT's blackjack tires uh, are actually uh, very. Wait, what if I just... have a lot of ridges. Ah, uh, ridges. They have a lot of ridges, and they actually provide very strong grip, especially for your Coney Island, your uh grip corridor, gravity path. Yeah, oh your uh big gravity path. Yeah. Yeah, and this one called burger, they're not. Yeah, Bur burger. Yeah, yeah. correct. Okay. Yeah. So uh yes yeah, so so that's the that's the main difference I've been reading. Yeah. So this is a uh, ten speed, the body GT is a ten speed, and the uh, gravel is actually eleven speed, with the Shimano Altegra, which is actually uh, I think two notches above the Shimano S Ram. Yeah. Yeah. So if you have uh the kind of I I would say this would be like a um, upgraded yeah, version. Yeah, it's, it's a souped up version yeah, uh, of the GT. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, but if you really like the blackjack tires, right, mm -hmm. uh, up to your personal preference, then yes, the GT will be a better option. But uh, if you're looking, if you have, you know, money to spend and stuff, you know, and uh, you are looking for more, <laughs> more upgraded version of the GT, uh, you can actually look at the Birdie JK11 Gravel. Yeah. If you ask me which one is more um, complete as a set, more versatile, I'll still say the Birdie JK11 Gravel. Yes. But uh, the, what can I this GT, I'm getting the names messed up. Okay, so the GT is actually more focused on off-road only. Yeah, if you mainly uh, cycle on uneven terrain, then you like the bumpiness and everything. I mean, you like to have greater control over the bumpiness. Uh, <laughs> I would recommend the GT. Yeah, yeah. Like if you really like the bumpiness, right? <laughs> go <laughs> go the use the uh, R20 on the, <laughs> on the gravity path. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so that's about it. Yeah, yeah. That's about it. Uh, 
if you are thinking of getting, uh, if you're thinking of upgrading the body yourself, right, then yeah, you can start off with the uh, body GT. But if you already want a computer set, uh, that you don't need to, you know, think so much about yeah. what to upgrade, what not to upgrade. We already uh, brought everything into one bike and actually made it for you. So uh, yeah, you can actually consider this instead. Mm. Yes. So we hope you answer your question, Andy. Thank you for the question. Okay, so next, uh, let me bring this bike. So which bike next? Okay, so right, uh, there's been a lot of misconception about a certain color that we have. Oh. And yeah, let me wheel the bike in. Okay, so disclaimer first, uh, whatever we're about to show, right, it's not a new color. Okay, can y'all guess what color it, that is? Looks like this. Drop the drop in the comments below. And not as bright. Okay, I'm gonna wait in ah. Uh. Yeah, just me. Uh, it'll be too slow. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> so okay, you see, okay, so this, uh, this is actually a body city, and the color right is actually in Royal Mustard. Right. So some of you might be confused. Royal Mustard, I got here that one before, man. Yeah. Right. Uh, actually, right, is previously it was known as metallic gold. But also throughout the whole world, right, this mm. frame itself is actually called metallic gold. Right. But when we were actually given like the sam sample, like the sample. Uh, like this like frame, this frame la. La, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we looked realized... at it and we realized that it doesn't in maybe in our local context it doesn't we don't really feel like it matches the name metallic gold. Maybe the because sunlight from other countries different from our, brighter, outside, yeah. yeah. The side the color. Ours is just human, yeah, not very sunny. Yeah. But if you bring that out over that, it's gonna look the same, yeah. yeah. So uh from our side, right, basically we change the name. Mm. The frame color, everything is still the same. If you use the pen clicker on both, right, it's gonna give you the same color. Pen, right? What's the number? Number? The hex. Hex uh six six D A E C. <laughs> yeah, so that's actually the color code that uh this color has. <laughs> and then um uh, well, else? Yes, yes. So, so yes. So there's a bit of confusion, uh, obviously, because I mean, uh, you're not color, you're not colorblind. I am. So why are why I why am I naming the colors wrongly, right? Every so, you must remind them that you're colorblind. Oh, actually, it's getting worse, eh? Today, okay. Yeah. Uh, side story. Today, uh, yeah, I think it's getting worse. I can't ever sleep. Why? Anyway, oh. yeah. So, uh, anyway, so for yours, <laughs> those who don't know, uh, I quite colorblind. So quite. today, I was trying to find a beige pants to match my beige coat. Then I was like, where the hell is this beige coat? Then I couldn't, uh, where the hell is this beige pen? So I realized maybe I left it in hole or something. Yeah. Then afterwards, I took the beige coat off the hanger. Then I realized, oh, it was blended in with the beige coat. You get it? So I actually couldn't see. Yeah. So what color is your top? White or beige? Beige. beige. Oh, yeah. I'm not the I, can, I can see. Just, uh, yeah, can okay. I not blind anyway. yet. Yeah, not blind yet. Still Hopefully. can do life. Yeah. Okay, so. Wait a minute. Yeah. yeah, so basically this uh Royal Mustard is not a new color. It's just uh, renamed from the original Metallic Gold. Because we feel like this Royal Master is actually more suited to be the name as uh, as opposed to the Metallic Gold. Uh. Correct. Yeah. And right, uh, okay, for those of y'all wow, who see this bike and uh, who are looking at this bike and thinking, wow, why is this like combi? Uh, like I've never seen it mm. before. It looks very, very nice. Correct. Honestly, it looks very nice in, in, in person. So this one, I, I don't like any, I don't like. I don't die. I don't like, <laughs> I don't I don't like anything in my life. Uh, but this this is really really very nice. Right. Uh, so actually it's actually a body city, but upgraded. Yeah, we customize on our own la. But so currently we are not we are not selling like this. Yeah. Uh, but if you're interested, just draw us an email at hello at mightyvel yeah. Yes, correct. correct, correct. So give uh, you special this one we're giving you. A... So those people who never watch the live, right? Too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, <laughs> you've got um advantage la. Yeah. Correct. So uh, we are thinking we are seeing whether this uh, seeing whether I just uh yes. Email us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically, correct. yes. So uh, if you recognize the tires, the tires are uh, the tires are actually the same as the ones that are on the Birdie New Classic. The McDonald's. Class, the McDonald's, yes. Yeah, the red black. Correct. And the, actually we didn't realize but the 10 wall color, right? On the tire is almost exactly the same as the frame color. Mm. So like I mean it's really match made in in have, in Mighty Velo. In Mighty Velo. It's correct. a match made in Mighty Velo. Correct. Mm. Yeah. And then we added the Brooks, a uh, Brooks saddle. This is actually the C17. Yeah, C17, right, uh, bronze orange saddle. So it looks very nice together. Got uh, a whole rustic bike, right? I think. Yeah. Okay, I'm moving from the bike. Yeah, correct. Yeah, okay. Screenshot now. Three, two, one. Okay. Okay, so we, uh, where's the other slide? So we have a slide of the, actually, the one. 
Never mind lah. Yeah. Uh, so this, this oh, the picture this inside the uh, isn't hasn't. Yeah, it doesn't include the saddle, so it just uh includes the frame and the and the tires lah. So but you can see how closely we uh, how closely the colors of the tan wall and the frame is. So this is actually very nice uh a very nice combination uh. Yes, correct. Thank you, everyone. Yes, <laughs> thank you, everyone. Yeah. Okay, so let's jump back to us. Okay, so we have another question from uh, Robinson. Hello. Hi, Robinson. So, so can MV bring in the polished silver again for body roll off? Ho oh, ho, why you never buy it earlier? Okay, so this is what happens polished when... Polished silver is gone. Yeah, this is what happens when... Long uh, gone. Uh, colors get sold out and... Yeah. Uh, will never come back yeah. so uh, unfortunately most of them don't come back yeah Polish Silver will not be coming back yeah it will yeah. not be coming back anymore if it comes back yo you have to thank a lot of things I mean <laughs> <laughs> you have, he never sleep right? he never sleep enough so um, give him some chance okay so basically the Polish Silver has been phased out and uh, will not be in production anymore okay yeah, yeah. Uh, if you really want Polish Silver you buy one of the colored one oh. need to slowly go and script yeah or oh, you pay me the script but it won't okay. be Polish uh. It just be silver, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, oh, you pay us to like, You pay us to script. Yeah. Oh, oh I, I, I have put chrome paint, but it's the it's the paint from Alfred now, so I don't really <laughs> trust now. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, we have uneven layers also. Yeah. So actually, another option, right, that you can consider is will be pearl mouse grey. Mm. So it, it it's not shiny lah. Obviously, it's not shiny. Correct. Uh, actually, but it is. I bring back the pearl mouse grey. Okay. So uh, the pearl mouse grey is actually available in both the Gen three frames. And also in the Birdie New Classic Plus frame. So it might I mean it doesn't look that's it doesn't look exactly the same, but it looks similar as in uh it actually gives the same uh, grey colour mulo tone vibe. Right. Right? Yeah. And also for those people who are worried about like uh men, men, maintenance, 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 and uh, so uh, body silver, right, actually, yeah, a lot of people actually bought it because mm. they feel like if there are scratches or whatever, like, I mean, they, 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 they just don't care, lah, basically. Yeah, uh, it won't, won't be obvious, lah, won't yeah. be as obvious. Which is true, but I mean, you don't buy a bike planning to scratch the bike. Unless so you always take care of your bike. Yeah, unless you hang at home as an ornament, yeah. then I salute you. What well, ornament? Be nice. <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be like you, my boy. Yeah. So, uh, so uh other than the scratches, right? So but if there's like uh dirt or whatever, uh you you might you might think it stands out a lot on like a, maybe a bright frame. So you might consider like a like a mono what's it called? Like a no color frame, you know. No color. Like for This is correct. not no color, uh, this got color. Like a desaturated color. De desaturated. Desaturated color uh look. Yeah. So yeah. So uh, basically something more uh, slick, more simple. Right. Yeah, just a simple words. Black, like white, grey. Just a simple word. Black, white, grey. Anything that I can only see when I'm going to <laughs> blind. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah, so one option would definitely be pronounced grey. Yeah, uh, so a lot to though. reiterate, this one comes in this um, frame for the classic. And the new classic and the new classic plus, which is what you see here. This is the new classic plus. And also comes in the Gen 3 frame, which is the flat. The more slick frame um, that all the other bikes use. Correct. Yes, oh, so that's all for yes. Right. So we have, uh, hope, we answer, hope we answer your question. Yes. Okay, so let's bring back the... Uh, okay, so for those of y'all who want to see the Royal Mustard uh, Burry City more, please drop a comment down below. Uh, please give some support because I, uh, I was very uh, supportive of it. So I need to show oh, that, yes. that you're lucky also, or else I will be out of a job. Correct, if you are interested, Actually, I'm already out, already out of a job today. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, anyway. So, but I, didn't, I don't care. <laughs> my choice, uh, not, not fired. Yeah, yeah. We're not fired. We did a decent job. Decent. Uh, yeah, correct. Decent. Yeah. Yeah. Decent. So uh, <laughs> your, if you want to see the uh, Royal Mustard, okay, uh, back again, it's no longer called the Metallic Go. Yes. Maybe if you go other country, it'll be called the Metallic Go. Mm. But then you'll be shocked when the frame comes and it might not look like Metallic Go to you. Mm. Yeah. So, uh, Royal Mustard is what it's called in Singapore. Yeah, but it's still very nice. Yeah. And so, yeah, uh, sorry just now. if it's a 10 wall, maybe Bongo tire very well. Mm. Yeah. So, if you're interested in the one that we showed you just now, the Royal Mustard with 10 wall BD Bonkers, just drop us an email at hello at mightyvalor.com and we'll see what we can do. Because we have really very limited pieces of the BD Bonkers tires. Yeah. Yes. Okay, let, let's uh let's flash the uh royal 
Royal Mustard slide again while we prepare for our unboxing. Oh, so uh, for those nice. of you who didn't know, right, uh, today we are unboxing drum roll, please. The Eureka <laughs> C7. Okay, so uh, right now we are going to send our uh, our man man behind. What's the what's what's net to Spider Man? Uh? the man behind the laptop. Uh? what? Who the net net always calls himself the I'm I'm Peter's man behind the laptop or man behind the something. Uh? What? Yeah, yeah. Huh? New <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, he he's just Liu Liu B B B. I don't know. <laughs> All right, so so okay, let's bring back, bring it uh, to us. Okay, welcome. Right. Okay, yes. uh, this is this is JJ. Yes, uh, he very excited. He very excited because uh, he finally get some airtime. Yeah. So he's <laughs> the one uh, that's always taking care of the slides. Yeah. You know, preparing for all that. So, like, so he's the support. man behind all this. He's the one that make all this happen. Yes. So give you a round of applause. Okay, now JJ the stage right. 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 Go the stage down. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so basically, this is you know, move back a bit. Okay, so this is the Iruka C7. Everyone, yeah. for those of you who guess mentally, because I don't see any comments, uh, you're gonna be right. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the round. Right. right now, you all have to guess which color. Okay, move move here a bit. So if you all didn't okay. know already, the the Iruka C7 comes in five colors. Yes. We so have the silver, black. storm gray, black. Red and also the blue. So yeah, now that the C seven is here, um, the ETA for this bike is actually five days. So if you purchase it today, you can expect it. Um, I think late next week, maybe Friday. Yeah, and it's now retailing at two eight nine nine. Yes. Okay. So I know some of you have been waiting for this bike, uh, for I think maybe two months now. Yeah, and it's finally here. Okay, so without further ado, okay, so JJ unbox the unbox thing. The bike. This is the first ever unboxing actually, even though it's the last. Actually, no, yeah, it's the first ever unboxing this year, even though this is our last live of the year. So if you want to watch more unboxing, please uh comment down below, please tell us, and then we'll do more next year. Yeah. Okay, so I right. come the whoa yo. Okay, so for those of you who get the color mentally, because I don't see any more comments. Uh yes, yeah, you're, you're right. It's in blue. So blue. Uh, put yourself on the back <laughs> if you're going right. <laughs> yes. So well uh yeah, while JJ kinda uh unwraps the like the what's it called? Bubble wrap, yeah, and stuff. Uh we're gonna talk about the kind of the history, uh, the history of the Ryoka. So the Ryoka started off uh in Japan. So it's a yeah, it's a Japan brand. And uh it started off with this one guy, uh who is the boss. Uh, yeah. Takashi it's, I don't speak Japanese. It's... Okay, yeah. So uh, we are we are we are scared of butchering the name. But yeah. uh, yes. So uh, so uh, his story is basically right uh, that he was on the way to work and then to and fro work he would ride a a foldy a foldable bike mm -hmm. and uh, it's not. I mean the brand. Uh, let's not talk about it. He didn't disclose the brand yeah. either. Yeah. So yeah, but right. Uh, there was a mi misconception in Japan that foldable bikes were slow mm -hmm. and uh, built just plainly because of uh convenience uh convenience of folding so he was like no i must ride fast on this bike too basically i mean i mean he had I think that's his own version he had story, a more but... uh, elaborate uh, plan in his head and <laughs> he summarized and, with his own words. yeah but basically he was like i'm gonna break the stereotype and make a and think about how to make follower bikes fast lah. i mean uh i mean he could maybe could have rode very fast you know i mean yeah it's yeah anyway. he actually a uh, cycle he he said that uh, he claimed uh, that he cycled to work faster than uh, taking is, the MRT. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. And he so, said it was very easy because um, he doesn't have to worry where to park. You know, yeah. uh, as opposed to driving, he, don't have to, he doesn't have to worry where to park. And he, he could actually fold the bike and uh, just put it on his, uh, below his desk. Yeah, yeah so it's very com uh, convenient. Uh, and uh, yeah, for those of people who are not in Japan, in, here, uh, in Singapore, uh, when you're on the way to work and stuff, you might be thinking also, okay, where do I park this bike? My company doesn't have a place to park a bike. Then, mm. Yeah, just don't worry about it. Just get a photo bike. Yeah, photo. Yeah. So meanwhile, uh, as you see, JJ, hi at work. Uh, let's talk more about the design of the bike. So, uh, so yes, yeah, so let me continue the story. Uh, so he started he, his business. Yeah, he started his business. So he made this uh, Iruka model. So mm. uh, for those of you who tuned into our lives previously, right, we've actually shown a version of the Iruka that isn't this. 
uh, is actually the older model. So he has uh, gone through a lot of uh, versions, uh, gone through a lot of different series. And uh, this the cool thing about this Iruga C7, right, is that it's actually exclusive to Singapore. So uh, the one that is in Japan, right, is actually Iruga C5. So like, I mean, like the name, uh, like the numbers suggest, right, the one in Japan is actually has five, five speeds. speeds. And the one here actually has seven speeds because we know all of you all, you know, uh, love to change change gear a lot of speeds yeah and yeah and such so uh, he actually did it uh, uh, with his with his goal when he, uh, when he first started uh, he wanted a follow bike that he could that could break the misconception that photo bikes are slow or anything yes yeah, so and actually he, how he got the design was uh, he actually attended a friend's wedding yes so at the what's the entrance reception area? reception area mm. correct so at the reception area he actually saw this Sommelier's knife. So those of you who drink wine, you all know Sommelier's knife is actually the one with the it's a blade, right? It's, there's a, a blade, blade and then there's a, a corkscrew or yeah, something. Yeah, then so basically it, when it all folded, it was very uh thin, very slick, mm. very compact. So he got the idea from there. So that's how he got this the folding design. Like. So uh maybe Chin Jie, you can help to unfold the bike. Okay, well he did do wow, camera wow, first. Wow. Hey. Let's go. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, you all won't be able to see us, but we'll, we'll talk through how he, uh, we're, yeah, yeah. So, if you can see, it's, it it wheels very nicely. It's like uh, it's very comfortable. I think. Very stable. How is it, JJ? You can shout to my mic. Well, very smooth. Yeah. Very okay, smooth. you say it's very smooth. Yeah, okay. I need to try to stop. Then I cannot go too fast. Then. Okay. Uh, oh. So the guy actually did it, the the uh <laughs> the Ruka founder, he actually did it. So even when he's not cycling, it is fast. Yeah. So I I mean that's that's really a lot to achieve la. Especially uh if there was a whole stereotype of Fodis being slow, then if you look at like I mean yeah, it's, it, we have come a long way, guys. Everyone, everyone clap, everyone clap. <laughs> even if you even if you're at home, you know. Uh, Thank you. Even if you're at home watching alone, just clap. Uh, I think you deserve it. Everyone deserves it at the end of the year. Yes. End of the year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct, correct. Okay, I'm, yes, I'm pulling through now. this 2021. Alright, GK, I'll pull the bike. Okay, so as you can see, hmm. uh, first he's gonna secure like One. the handlebar. So if you can if you see right, you might be thinking, yo, why is this real ass bike, right? Why is the wheel in the middle of the frame? Actually that's the Whoa. most unique thing about it. Uh. So just now we talk about the familiar knife. If those of you who don't know about the similar knife, right? Uh, it's actually a it's actually a version of a Swiss Army knife, uh. yeah. And you know how the blade kind of uh, folds in inside the frame. That's basically what the uh, bike was doing just now, though. Oh, so it's just done. like that. Whoa, yeah. yo. So the only three things. Did you, this, is our, this is our first day trying, uh, first time folding the bike, right? Yes. Oh, I see. Oh, that was that was fast. Yeah, no, that's cat. <laughs> Yeah, so okay, so you can see the blue is very striking. Actually, the blue is very nice. Very nice, yes. Damn. Okay, that one screenshot, screenshot, faster screenshot. Screenshot and send, I want this bike. Include a human or not? <laughs> Include the human. Okay, so. Don't want the human also can. Don't, <laughs> just don't want the bike also can. Don't, don't want the bike also can. Oh, just human. want the human also can. Yeah. Yeah, just email us at hello at mightybelly.com and say you want either the human only, yeah. bike only, or both. Can get the human with pretty bonker tires. Wait, what? I don't know. <laughs> hey, don't, don't confuse them. Video <laughs> cannot go on this. Eh. Okay, yeah. So, uh, so this is how the bike looks like when it's unfolded. Mm. Very nice, ah. Uh, uh, and next time, if you want to see uh, JJ cycle on this bike, uh, y'all can just tell us uh, in the comments below. Yeah, uh, we will we'll, do, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah, we'll do a Anything video you say, we'll JJ. do it. <laughs> Anything you say, JJ will do it. Whatever your one will do. Yes, correct. Yes. So how do you fall back? Yes. Okay, so uh yes. So let's bring up the slide again. For for a while before we show you how to fold back. Yeah. So the slide, right, actually uh, uh actually there are five colors like we mentioned. So you can see this very uh, nicely designed uh that shows the different cuts of the bike. Yes. So if you can see at the side, right, left side, right side maybe for you, left side, left side is for oh, you. Right. This is the left, is the left. No, it's right. I designed this thing, it's on the right. Oh, I mean, oh, so oh we, okay. We're talking about two separate parts. Anyway, yeah, so on your left part, you can, you on the left side of the screen, you can see all the uh, kind of components that found the Iruka. Uh, you can see it has internal 7 speed, that's why it's called the Iruka C7. And uh, small wheels, not small, right? Even though the wheels are actually 18 inch, 
So it's actually not small wheels at all, but it is a, a, a good ride. <laughs> yes. It's actually very smooth, very comfortable yeah. uh, when riding the Euroka C7. Yeah, and also the full body is um, aluminium. That's why it's not uh, it's not heavy. Uh. And what else is there? Yes, so uh, for, those, for those people who uh, who are interested in the, in the stats, yes. Stats. <laughs> They're gamer. Yeah. <laughs> The specs. So this character has a uh, ten health, uh, uh eleven point nine kg, and a uh, seven seven. What speed? Are uh, they just speed seven, right? Speed seven. Uh, Shimano Nexus Intern seven. Sounds wow. like a gaming thing. Sounds like a gaming thing. Yeah. eighteen times one point five zero GMD Ruka original tires. Okay, basically it's just Top original speed tires. Seven out of ten. Acceleration eight out of ten. Oh yeah, so actually the pickup speed for this Ruka is actually very fast. Because it's very very easy to ride as well. Yeah. Alright, so maybe now JJ can show you how to pull the bike. Yes. So, so whatever he did initially, you just have to do it backwards. And it's just three simple steps. Um, step one. So actually this is a very satisfying part. It actually really... Ta-da. Just that simple. Alright, done. Okay, let's go. Okay, so now JJ will take over the life. Okay, step two. Full sideways. Yes. Pretty so easy. So that's how you far. get the Samalia knife in the shape. Because you're folding two parts. And next, lastly. Ta-da. Done. That's so so easy. Yeah. So I really respect the guy uh, for building such a minimalistic and minimalistic. compact minimalistic and compact kind of a version of his bike la. yeah i mean you might you never you have never seen this kind of uh foldy in singapore before until now and who knows when he's uh when these bikes blow up right you can be the if you purchase now you can be one of the initial initial what's it called initial owners of the first yeah. ever you can Iruka be a pioneer C7. of owning the yeah. iruka c7 basically yeah so we have a question by robinson so regarding the iruka i'm a bit shocked to see the frame is having an extremely big slot for the rear wheel to slip through Will it weaken the frame significantly? Okay, so actually that's the selling point of this uh, Iruka <laughs> to have the big slot in the middle so it actually folds that way but will it weaken the frame? Okay, maybe so, you, you want to answer? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, even though having a big slot in the main frame itself the whole main frame is actually in one uh, uh, solid piece. There's no like folding joints in between. And also there are, there are designs like you can see there are solid triangles from here to help to uh, maintain the force. And yeah, so the whole main, piece, main frame piece is very solid. Yeah, when you ride it, you don't feel any jerks. Yeah. Like any uh things like loosen uh, all this, yeah. So it's a pretty solid bike. Mm. That's right. You heard okay. it from the man himself. Okay, I couldn't have explained it any better. Yes. So unlike other companies that have uh that sell bikes. Hey, with... hey, hey! Don't say other company, ah. Uh, oh, <laughs> unlike company, other bikes ah. that you see in ah, the okay. in the in outside. Where outside. Uh, I mean, I don't know how they get bikes. Must have gotten those bikes. But I, love, I like a lot of those bikes out there. Uh, that falls in the middle, right? That actually is the main thing that will compromise the stability of your bike. Yeah. Mm. So this, yeah, like what did you say? The the one single frame I uh, uh design, right? It it, it kind of resolves the problem really. Correct. Yeah. So thank you, JJ. Woo! Okay. So right, if you want okay. to see JJ more, right, you all have really have to comment down below because right. Because he will come back if you want. <laughs> And if y'all got any other questions for us or JJ, right? Yeah. Uh, just ask in the comment section now. Correct, Please, correct. ask now. Okay, meanwhile, uh, JJ will... The grand exit. Okay. Is there a technical difficulty? Oh! Oh, we might be facing some technical difficulties. If y'all can still ask, please. If y'all can still hear us, please uh, comment down in the... Okay, you y'all can hear us. I cannot see us. Okay, oh, so okay. Hear, is it? right now, uh, this is JJ speaking. Hello, 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 hello. 
I love no, you. I love kidding, you. it's still us. But uh, yeah, if you, have, if you have any questions, I just so. uh, ask us seven. and kindly give us a moment because we are actually facing some difficulties. I like the Iruka. You can still hear us, right? I think. It's just you cannot see the see the screen. Yes. So yes. please don't leave. We'll be back. I mean, not we'll be back. We'll be right back. I mean, you can still hear. Our... Oh, oh, oh I think it's back. Okay, that's right. Thank you, everyone, uh, for staying yes. for our life. Okay, so what else? So if you don't want to see any other bikes, right? Please. Yeah, hey, I thought you said you got some bicycle joke to share today. Okay, so I uh found one bicycle joke. Mm. Uh, okay, so. It better be good. Huh? Uh, it's not. So uh, why did right the bicycle go to the psychiatrist? Common name name one, right? Yes. And you know the answer? No. Uh, what, what's the answer? Because one day, right, he found out that he has psychological problems. Okay, anyway, uh, this is why I'm getting fired today. Yeah. So anyway, uh, so if you want to see other bikes, right, that we have, please, uh, yeah, drop a comment down below. We'll bring them back. Uh, meanwhile, let me bring back uh, my favorite bike of today's life, which is the Royal Mustard Body City. Okay, I don't know where that is when he just left the office in a hurry. So I guess uh trying to do some Darius Lander. Okay, so uh okay, so this is the bike. Darius actually dressed up for this bike. He actually chose a yellow uh shirt for this bike lah. So uh it will be very disappointing if uh no one uh no one says this bike nice. So please drop some comments down below. Uh if you want to know about Darius Instagram, also y'all can drop a comment down below. I'll drop it. Okay, yeah. So I dressed up for this bike. Partially right lah. But after I realized the shade of yellow is a bit different. Mine is slightly brighter, but this is... Okay, if you look at the frame, right, it's still slightly reflective. It's like half, half, like half matte, half reflective. But, uh, yeah, just know that once, uh, whatever that was once called the metallic gold is now known as the Royal Master. Yes. Yes. Oh, hi Ken. So you want to see the JK11 Ace Ken. Okay. We bring it back. Let me go get it. Okay, where's the... Okay, Kaming will bring it back for you. Okay, so for the JK11 Ace, it's, uh, it comes in space black, which is the same color as the previous uh, JK11 Road. And it's 20 inch with slick tires, basically road tires, and uh, it comes with the Dura Ace derailleur. And also the Dream Tech piston brakes. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, so the Dream Tech, uh, this uses the Dream Tech GT. So it's actually the four piston brake. Correct. So it's more powerful. More powerful. Uh, the braking yeah. power is stronger. More, and more, more even. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like how do you describe? Like the braking like a four, right? Instead of two, two is like that. You kept the middle. You kept the middle. Now got four. You. <laughs> you kept like that. They yeah, already tried. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but basically that's how it works. For your, that's how it works. So hopefully. Yes, yeah, so we're bringing it. Yeah, so you need the stronger braking power because uh, of Sometimes course, you're you traveling at a high, high speed, speed, you know. Yeah. I mean, we are not recommending to correct safety for us, safety, safety first, first. Always. Oh, and always wear a helmet. Yes, yes. always, yes. Helmet. Be it whether you're on the road or wherever, just wear a helmet. In your car. In your. Yeah, wear a helmet. In the train. Wear a helmet. In the office. Wear a helmet. My voice is ready. Anyway, wear a helmet. Yeah. So uh so this is the body JK eleven ace. We'll leave it here. If you want to if uh hi Ken, if you want to see the slide, right? Can show more pictures of it, then we'll we'll bring up the slide. Or yeah, else or you want to take this. you want a screenshot of here? Okay. Yeah. Can so we do you three are. seconds ready? Oh two, three, oh, three seconds out already. Two, oh. Okay, so oh. yes. Uh this is how it looks like in real life. Uh, uh you can see the red color breaks very obvious. And then yeah, the whole thing is very slick in black color. Yeah, so the Dura Ace uh, is actually the R9100 SS 11 speed uh, der derailleur. So it's uh, once, like what I once said just now, it's actually the top of the line derailleur for the Shimano series, which is actually a notch above the Shimano Autograph. Yeah, so I mean, uh, we haven't really sold Dura Ace before. No, actually, it's the first time. So, uh, yeah. for those of you, all, uh, for those of you who have been waiting for the Dura Ace, right? Yeah, this is your chance to get it. Correct. 
Okay, and this dual ace as compared to the outer guard is actually slightly lighter and the shifting speed and the transition is slightly smoother as well. Mm. So, so that's why it's the top man. It's really the top, the best of the best. So I'm not, I'm not a very uh, fast cyclist, but I think the, uh, I would prefer this because of the how smooth it can transit between the gears. Mm. Because sometimes, you know, when you up and down, the, when you change the gear or shift the gear, you might feel like a, like a jerk. But this might feel more, uh, more smooth for you. Mm. So it's, it, I think it really helps out in the grand uh, scheme. Yeah. Yes. But correct. correct. Okay. All right. Hi, hey. Dennis. So uh, have stock for Billy Bonkers tire. Okay. So for Billy Bonkers tire, we do not sell as a, a tire upgrade anymore because we don't have enough stock for it. Uh, which is why we actually, you know, we come up with customized models to actually pair it with currently the new classic. So we have the new Classic Plus. So that new Classic Plus actually has the Billy Bonkers. And the other model that we have with the Billy Bonkers is actually the Birdie JK11 Gravel. So these are the only two models currently with the Billy Bonkers tires. Yeah. So we do not sell them uh, individually or we do not, and we do not provide upgrades for them in individually. Lah. Yeah. So you need to uh, find it yourself outside uh, or you can uh, wait, lah, wait, for the, wait for the news when we actually uh, have stock. But it might take a while. La. I, I don't think you should wait. Um, if you are really, yeah. really, uh, no, because it's not just us who have mm. limited stock. Actually, it's uh, very scarce in the whole market. Yeah, and we're actually Canal lucky because we actually um, we saw this coming and we actually purchased a lot uh, in bulk you know, beforehand. So we are trying to sell now with uh, <laughs> like customized yeah. models. Suez Canal. What's Suez Canal? No, I think. Yeah. yeah so, uh, oh, wait, oh, it's just, Okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah correct. Yeah, it's so, entire joke. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So uh, what other bikes do you want to see faster? Faster. Mm -hmm. This is the last last time, last offer already. You know. Yeah. Uh, twenty twenty one is ending. Maybe next time the host uh you ask for a bike then. No, they just tell I you mean, uh check online. Yeah. 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 You never have such nice hosts. Eh? How? Yeah. Okay. I think the next next host will definitely be nicer than us. Uh, and definitely nah. care care more about the bikes than mm -hmm. us. Nah. Uh, I don't. Yes, but you never. Uh, <laughs> yes, so let's see. Let's see if there's any more comments. Actually, yeah, since our last live, you can ask about uh anything. I uh, can ask us bring accessories also. Can uh, we'll yeah. go and run down, run to the store and, and get it for you. Uh, obviously you must buy lah. Just run for what, right? Uh, yeah. yes, yes. So anything, anything, really. So if you want to see the old model of Iroka, also can. I don't know why though. We're not selling that. Uh, <laughs> are we? <laughs> No right. Or maybe rich. Uh, yes. Yeah, so okay. So mm. for those people who are tired of foldable bikes, are tired of seeing foldable bikes. Uh, here's a different bike for you. It's the only non foldable bike that we have, and what's cool is that it's packable. Packable meaning you don't fold it, you pack it. You pack it. Yes. Correct. So uh, it's, it's not. Rich. It's not wheelable la, but it's it's very compact when it's packed. Right. So one noticeable difference, I'll say, is the bar, the front, the front, the handlebar is actually tilted forwards, leaning forwards. So it's modeled after like uh your typical road bike. So the method of cycling, you're not cycling upright lah, definitely. You're leaning forward and cycling, and it's one whole, uh, one whole piece. The frame is one whole piece, so it's uh, very sturdy, very rigid, and it has both front and back suspensions, like all our body models. As you can see, the the back one is here, and the front is here. Okay, there's one small in the front, yeah. yeah. So it makes it more compact, more rigid. So it's very good for cycling on uh, flat pavements, and basically a uh, road bike. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what's cool about it is, yeah, it's so compact when it's folded, right, that you can just put it in your car, you can bring it onto planes. A lot of people, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I've known some customers that uh, actually buy it because they want to cycle overseas. Correct. So they don't like Singapore. They want to cycle. They don't want to cycle in Singapore. I think they want to cycle. Cycle. Singapore not very big also. Yeah. So it's, it's the usual pass. But it's quite good. For, for and actually, guys. uh, when we open for test rides, like for at least for last week, the whole of last week, actually, every day there was a, there's at least one person coming to try to reach. Yeah. Because yeah. previously we didn't, uh, we didn't really um, promote this reach uh, yeah. GT. So not many of you knew about it. Uh, but the past two weeks, uh, last week and this week, a lot actually came down to actually test right this uh, Rich GT. 
and the reviews were great because they said it's very smooth mm -hmm. and uh, very easy ride. Some people actually, yeah, they prefer this over our uh, birdie bikes. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. But then when when it's loaded up, then you all will, you you see, yeah, uh, you see. I'll say it's you comparable with the R twenty, yeah. uh, If you're comparing to our birdie models, yeah, this is uh, the closest comparison is the R twenty. Okay, so hi Dennis. So any ETA stock arrival for Billy Bonkers? So this one no at the moment because, like I said, the whole market is actually facing this shortage of Billy Bonkers. So we do not have a uh, word on when yes. the Billy Bonkers will come back. So this one, uh, yeah, is is we don't even have inside knowledge to tell you yeah. because we really don't yeah. know. No one knows lah. Uh, us, Laopan, Laopan also don't know. Yeah. Because this one is the whole market, it's not just us. Yeah. So, yes, so that's for the Billy Bonker tires. And that's for the Rage GT. Yes. That's right. So, okay. if you've got any models that you want to see, um, or any questions that you want to ask, kindly ask now. If not, we'll just, for now, we'll talk about the store again. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, that's... so previously, y'all were actually um, applying. I'm not say applying, booking, making mm -hmm. appointments to come uh, to our store to view the bikes, uh, go for test rides through this app called Calendly. However, uh, you no longer have to do that starting next year. So from 3rd Gen onwards, we are actually open to walk-ins for both bike viewing and test rides. So the some of the rules that you have to follow will be uh, maximum only two packs. So um, be it child, adult, old pers uh, elderly, <laughs> old pers Child, adult, yes, elderly, they are all considered one pack each. Yes. So um, maximum two packs. Uh, you can only spend up to 30 minutes there. So mm. we you know, allow the rest or give them a chance to actually view yeah. the bikes or enter the store, test ride. Yeah. And also uh, go get your vaccination. Yes. Yeah. Go so get vaccinated. Right now, uh, you still have to be vaccinated to come in. Mm. But uh, we don't... Uh, Not we right now. The... Oh. You right now and uh and for forever, forever. Uh, forever yeah. you but, have to be vaccinated to actually enter our store. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we don't uh uh take into account the third jab yet. But when the government oh, implements more correct. rules, right? Yeah, that might change. So do get our third jab soon. Uh, mm. if you are if you're okay to with taking our third jab, lah. So there's yeah. a very high chance that the government will say uh I think sometime during January that yeah. uh, you only be considered fully vaccinated if you take your third booster. Or your third shot, which is your booster shot. Correct. Yeah. So my tool, yeah, don't don't wait already. Go and faster get your booster shot now. Yeah. When Actually, you book yours? I book third gen. Yeah. Same. So eh, my afternoon. Eh, my afternoon so three thirty. Two o'clock. Mm. Any different place, ah? He stay so, west. So if anything, uh, if I get ready, then suddenly I can jump twice as high. Then I tell you. Then you faster go and take. Uh, eh, no, you think zero about that, Zero is zero. Shit. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, yo, any more questions? If you have, ask now. If not, we'll we'll wrap it uh, we'll wrap it up in about three minutes. Correct. Correct. Yeah. 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 So this is the reach. This is the packable bike. It's not not fully foldable. I mean, you can pack it up. You can um. Take out some parts like Lego like that. You can fix it, but you cannot build it. If you want to see JJ uh, oh, pack okay. this bike right. Drop in the comments down below. Quick, quick, quick. This is a one-time offer, okay? He might not do this ever again. You might do. You must faster ask him to do now. Uh, <laughs> then I see JJ a uh, red stress behind the behind the screen. Yes, because uh, he he don't want to be on camera anymore. You know, he's shy. Really shy yeah. yeah. Anyway, I uh, actually he controls our whole setup. So either he put like some weird like like. Filter. Uh, hey, filter, you got filter, 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 Oh, okay, sure. So, uh, obviously, the uh, earliest collection date will be instantly. Grab zero seconds, zero minutes, zero years. Yeah. So, uh, so that will be the? Birdie New Classic Plus. Yes. So, those are the two bikes that we have, uh, that's heavily featured on our social medias. It is the Pearl Mouse Grey Birdie New Classic Plus, And you have the Red Black Birdie New Classic Plus. And the Red Black actually comes with the 10 wall tires. While the Pearl Mouse Grey comes with the black. 
uh, Billy Wonka tire, sorry, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that, if you want to remember, uh, simply it's just red, yellow versus gray, black, correct. So, red, yeah, the red and yellow uh, might feel a bit flashy for some people, so you might opt for the pearl mouse gray, or if you think pearl mouse gray, the color isn't as vibrant, then you might opt for the red, black. So, it's really up to you. I think both are equally nice, and you can take equally good pictures with them. Yes. That's and, right. And the, obviously, the comf comf the comfortability is also uh, very good because Top of the, the charts. Yes, very longer tires. And uh, yes, so that, that's about it. And it's only at 2399, which is only a step up from the normal Body New Classic price. So if you're already thinking of getting a Body New Classic, why not just don't wait at all and don't even wait for collection? You get it with just $300 more and you can get some upgrades like the DMR V6 MTB pedals. And also the Billy Wonka highest. Okay, so we actually have one question from Jordan. Hi Jordan. So why the website price and social media price are different? Okay, so um, first of all, the website price is slightly higher than the Google Form price that we actually sent to you guys. So the website price, uh, this is because it actually includes the credit card transaction char uh, charges. Something wrong with our... Charges. Yeah, so transaction... Burgers. Charges, yes, burgers. So that's why it's slightly higher. So if you are okay with paying by via okay, cash, mm, bank transfer, pay or pay now, uh, you can just purchase via the Google form. After which we will send you an invoice. Then you make your payment, and then uh, we we'll send you uh, an email uh, to notify you of when to collect your bike. Yes, yes. So it's, it's Hope that answers easy, your yeah. question. Mm. So I mean, if you're asking why do we have the higher one when we can have the lower one? Because some of you want to, you know, uh, rack up your, okay, your credit, cards, credit card the points, points uh, yeah, yeah, point system. Yeah. And uh, if you want to pay by Otomi, uh, which is an installment kind of a program, mm -hmm. then yes, you have to uh, purchase through the website. Yes. And it will be counted as the credit card prices. Correct, because because you'll be paying through higher. credit card through Otomi, yeah. Mm. So if you uh, some of you want to uh, pay by installment, okay, yeah, so that's, a, that's an option, no? yes. So that's why the prices are also different. Mm. Okay. Right, back to bikes. Okay, so uh, next shortest collection will be five days. Five days. Which Actually, is five days. Next week, lah. Next week. Next week. Okay, we start with five days. Five days. Five days. Five days, five days. Five days so, is the Iruka. Five days Iruka. Okay. And carry all. Carry me, carry, carry all me. Iruka and Rich GT. Oh, Rich GT also. Yeah. So correct. uh, so those are available after five working days. Mm. So it's very fast, lah. Uh, if you're thinking of getting a foldable tricycle, cause there's nowhere else that sells, so nowhere. You're better coming. Not even Toyota Rush. Yeah. Oh, Toys R Us maybe have, uh, oh, but for one time, then can't afford. Yeah, can't afford. Can't afford. Can't for your kids, yeah. I think. Beside Max. Yeah. Then, can you write on that? Huh? No, you cannot, can't write on that. Yeah, yes. can't write I on can't write on that. Yes. But we can write on the carry all. Correct. Okay. And right. is that one comfortable? Maybe. But is this comfortable? Definitely. <laughs> so, uh, so yes, carry all. No bad. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Rich GT, yes, just now we talked about it. Also in five working days. A lot of people have been days. trying it. So if you're thinking of coming down to desk, right, uh, yeah, do so la. Now, yes. that, that's it yeah. Just, just come and, yeah, just just come, come, just come and pay us a visit. Uh, but uh, if you're coming tomorrow, just take note that we actually close at 5 p.m. sharp. Uh, because yeah, it's New Year's Eve, everyone wants to go back, celebrate with their friends, family, wherever their loved ones. If you want to test right after 5, can, but buy the bike, buy the grab and go. You can yeah. test right forever. Yes. Forever. So, but let us know, uh, don't come at 5 o'clock and then say you want to buy grab and go. Uh. You might not have the... The stock at, at the retail outlet itself. Come so if you want, four just five show nine us an email. 459 can. Give you one minute. So you can tender everything in one minute, then we sell to you. Cannot, then I say next year. Tell you. Uh. The food tenders will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't see anything. Five minutes sharp. Yeah, five minutes sharp will close. Yeah. So uh, it's really, really will be. Five minutes? 5 p.m. 5 p.m., 5 p.m., sorry. 5 p.m. up, that will, will close. Yeah. Uh, I mean, everyone wants to go home and spend time with their, with their family loved ones to spend their new year. Yes. If you want to spend oh, no. with a bike, definitely get the grab and go, you know, yes, yes. Anyway. Yeah, comment below where you are going for the countdown. Oh yeah, I yeah, know yeah. where not to go. <laughs> because tomorrow will be very crowded. <laughs> so please uh, tell me where you are going to count down. Like I said previously, just go night cycling, you'll be with your group of five and with no one else. Yo, if everyone crowd together, you cannot cycle through a group. Uh, no lah, you find some like cool places. Really bonker tires, grab and go. Uh, in the classic bus, you bring one tire, you can go anywhere. So you can go anywhere, yeah. Don't need to just uh, go with the, everyone like, oh, I must go road. No, don't need, yeah. just, you can go anywhere. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Drop, drop point, I don't know. Drop point. Nah, kidding, yeah, a, portable bikes means you can uh, push through 
uh, you can bring to the mall, you can bring to public transport. Escalator. You cannot cycle inside the elevator. Please don't say you hear from us that you yeah, can cycle yeah. in the mall. The only mall you can cycle is Funan. Oh, and right. We don't recommend it because I realize a lot of people just step into the... Yeah, they yeah, step into the track. Like so, me, actually. So. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, so <laughs> continue from there. So after the five working days, uh, we have uh, won the early gen collection period, which is no, JK11 JK series. Yeah, the yes. JK11. So JK11 now we are left with two, which is the JK11 Ace for speed. So if you want uh, top of the uh, top of the line, uh, what you call that, components, you want to cycle fast on the road, uh, you want a light bike, here is the JK11 Ace. On the other hand, if you want a bike that is more uh, for uh, more rugged, for off-road riding we have the jk11 gravel yes for many terrains yes and so uh, these two bikes will be available for collection in early gen which is basically next week uh. yeah so a lot of bikes coming next week uh. Mm. Uh, i mean a lot of bikes are ready for collection next week so if you don't want to wait uh they, i mean there's a chance that uh, if a lot of you buy a lot of people like kind of purchase their bikes now right the collection period will get pushed back so if you don't want to wait do get it now you know uh can I be like, oh, uh, buy now so I don't have to suffer the consequences next year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's, about a, it's a mindset. Okay. It's about a mindset. Yeah, correct. Okay, so after that, uh, we have the other bikes that are coming in Feb. So the... Oh, yeah, now it's in Feb. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. last week. No, last week was... Last week was the week before, right, was actually um, in January. But you're all too, too, too. You're all drag, drag, drag. Now we can't end fat really. Yeah. So, so maybe in two dragging. months, or not two months, maybe in two weeks later, one and a half weeks later, you become end March. I don't know. Yeah. Touch wood, ah. Yeah. But, uh, so those bikes are as follows. I don't know if I can. Okay, so we have the Valley CT, the Ring Plus, GT, R20, Roll Off. Yes, so all these bikes. Oh, yeah, we did it. Okay, yeah. So, uh, ETA, and February yeah. 2022. Yeah. yeah. So, so uh, if y'all don't wait so long, y'all can purchase the previous models that we mentioned just now. Correct. correct, correct. So we got the JK11, the Ace, the Gravel. We got the uh, Birdie New Classic Plus. Wait, what are you looking at? Oh, oh, I'm doing the... Yeah. Oh, it's gone already. See ya. Yeah. Oh, how was the ETA for Birdie City if I purchase like today? Hi, oh. Jordan. Yeah, okay. So we just went through that. Uh, if you purchase the Birdie City today, um, you will only get it estimated end February. Yes. That's right. No. Oh. What is Sam? Come back, come back. No. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway. Okay. So, no more questions, ah? Yes. So, uh, yes, we'll wrap up by saying a happy, uh, by wishing all of you a happy new year. Uh, 2021 has been, oh, hold on. 2021 has been, 2021 has been tough. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Uh depends on y'all. Uh. I mean uh, I don't know. All work from home, right? Next year shock. Uh. Next year go back to office really. Some sometimes they want the other way around. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> most of them want the other way around. Yeah. So yeah, uh, next year, most of you will be uh, those who are working, I think it's in the office already, right? Now face to face. Correct. Go work from home. Yeah. That'll be the new norm. Uh. Mm. Yeah. So uh I mean, but then I hope everything, uh, the whole COVID situation gets better yes. before the vaccination going uh, taking in place. Uh, Omicron, uh, please take care. You no, know, I mean, I'm, Omicron. I'm saying, uh, please take care of yourself from Omicron. Yeah, Omicron, not, not telling the virus to take care, but please take care of yourself. Uh, uh, practice like hygiene, health, and such. Yes. Uh, yes, correct. So, uh, wishing, uh, hope you had a very good Christmas, uh, and get ready for a very... A wonderful Good. start to 2022. Yes. It will be even better if you get a bike, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, at least yeah, you know what Yes, go and go. Yeah, yes. yeah, um, okay. Yeah. Even if, okay, yeah, here's another life hack that I tell you about. Don't say here, this stream got no free stuff. Okay, so right, here's a free idea for you. You know, uh, sometimes a lot of people when, uh, uh, when you, sometimes a lot of people, you know, they, they, don't, they don't think that uh, New Year is that big anymore because mm. there's nothing to look forward to, right? Yeah. So if you buy a bike now, right, you can look forward to the uh to collecting a bike next year. So that'll be your first thing. So you'll It'll start be a, a new very year, good right? Investment. Yeah, 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 you'll start a new ride. Right? You have something to look forward so to. So which one you'll collect beginning of the year? Which are the yeah. models? Oh, so at the end of the at, 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 at the start of the year, actually, uh you get to collect uh Iruka, of course. Iruka 
So I mean, you can start things off. Uh, start the year off with being a pioneer, being a yes, being a pioneer of first Yuruka C7. Singapore, yeah. First group of people in Singapore to own a Yuruka C7. Yeah. When all Actually the, in the world, there's no C7. Also. Yeah, in the world, in the world. Yeah. So when all like the bicycle cyclist forums or whatever uh, mm. fill up with like, yo, this bike is sick, right? You'll be like, eh, I have I the it. bike, yo. Yeah. Then you just take photo, you put on there. Oh my god, what's this bike? Then you become famous. Yeah, I mean. I, I I give you yo this is, this this life, this this life got so much free stuff yeah. yeah so other than that uh you have to carry it all so I mean uh carry on no need to sell buy for, I mean, uh, for, buy for our loved ones then later they they very happy start go start doing it yeah. carry on you don't buy I tell you you'll be sold out also oh actually yeah, that's I, how uh, big the demand for carry on is yeah I I I very shocked when yeah. I uh, also I was when a lot of people come out. to test right you can hey what you can not you can <laughs> they come to test right carry on and the VGT but not together. Uh. Yeah, not together. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, then, then it's a joke, never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, correct. So, uh, other than that, we have to carry me. Carry me is very compact, very portable. Mm. You buy for someone, it might, uh, it won't cost as, uh, as much lah. It will be a good gift. Start their new year, right? And then, you know, yes. And then, uh, other than that, yes. Uh, yeah. The JK models. Yeah, correct. So, uh, really, you want to start a new year, right? Right? You order now. You wait until next year. I mean, you don't. Have, I mean, you wait lah. But during these three days of uh, during these few days of waiting, right, for the new year, you go right, and enjoy first. Yeah, you you come over right excited because you're like, mm. oh my god, my bike coming already. Yeah. Yeah. Not even happy uh, happy new year coming already is it's my bike coming already. Yeah. yeah. Before so, Chinese New Year, somehow. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So so, yeah, yeah. So that's a good goodbye lah. Yeah. Mm, and now it's goodbye la. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> amazing! Amazing! Uh. Amazing. Uh, yeah, this, is all, this is all scripted, by the way. Yeah. It is? Yeah, it's scripted. Yeah, we prepared a lot for this. Yeah, it's totally scripted. Alright. With that, I think we'll come, we've come to We've come to the end of the... Yeah, everyone, today. everyone send your claps. Uh, send your hand clap. The emoji, uh, whatever. Uh, the clap in emoji. Just everyone, in the, thanks. In the comments so, below. Uh, uh, please buy bikes. And you, <laughs> and you never see us again. <laughs> Yeah, right, right. If you don't want us to appear anymore, comment down below so then we'll know and then we'll go home and cry. Yeah. yeah. So uh that's it. Lah. Thank you very much. Uh, right. if there's no question. Uh well, happy thank, new year. thank everyone. Happy New Year everyone. Yeah. Uh thank you for all the con- uh, concern. <laughs> thank you for all the support. Support throughout these years. Throughout these years. <laughs> you sound like that. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, so thank you everyone. Happy New Year and bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye.